Hi everyone, I'm Sujin. Welcome to my channel. For today's video, we have an unboxing of my second quota bag from Hermes in 2023. I'm so excited to share this with you today. I received my last quota bag in January of 2023. I will link the video up above or in the description box below. So yes, this is my second one for the year. This is my first time where I was offered a second quota bag in a year. My essay wanted to offer me a second quota bag in December of 2022, but there just wasn't enough supplies and none that I was looking for according to my essay. So I did ask my essay for a second quota bag before 2023 is over, if possible that is. So I am very happy that she's able to make it work. Recently, I was invited to the Hermes Atelier Horizons Craft Your Dream Cocktail event in South Coast Plaza. I do have a video, so please check it out. It was such a fun event. It was very interesting to look at all the possible crafts from Hermes. The atmosphere and the food were excellent. My favorite was talking to other Hermes lovers and admiring their Hermes bags and outfits. I guess more things to add to the Hermes wish list. After some time from the Hermes event, I received a text from my essay. As soon as I saw the text, I knew she has an offer for me. When I was on the phone with my essay, the first thing she said was, happy belated birthday. And she has an offer for what I was asking. After hearing the specs, and of course, without any hesitation, I said, yes, let's schedule an appointment. I went to pick up this baby a week later. As you can see, it's not a small box size. So it's definitely not a Mini Kelly. Mini Kelly has been on my wish list for a while, but nothing yet. I did talk to my essay and she suggests that when I am offered to do a special order, I should order a Mini Kelly with the longer straps. FYI, special order offers it's given on April and October. So I did tell my essay to put me on the list for that special order offer too. So we shall see how long this is going to take. When I was chatting with some people at the Hermes Horizon event, they were telling me how exotic special orders can take up to a year and a half to two years. And that is a really, really long time to wait. Without further ado, Let's get to the unboxing. Can you guess what it might be? I have mentioned it in my previous video, so it might not come as a surprise. So I have this, meaning that it's a strap. and it comes with the raincoat. I heard that with the newer bags that they might stop doing the raincoat um, just to be environmentally conscious, but here it is. Ta-da! It is a Kelly 25 Silly Air Gold Hardware in the black box calf leather. The Silly Air has the stitching on the outside with sharp corners. Isn't she such a beauty? It's so smooth and there is a shine to the bag and of course it comes with the shoulder strap and the lock and the clochette. 
I did ask for a Kelly 25 or a Kelly 28 in the black box calf Kelly Sillier in gold hardware. I didn't mind the size to be in 28, but my essay says for a Kelly Sillier, size 25 is the best. And for Kelly Retourne, both size 25 and 28 are great. I'm not going to argue with her. So far, I am very happy with all my bag offers and I really love and appreciate my essay. My fiance was with me to pick up this baby. When my essay ripped the brown paper tape and unboxed, his reaction was, what? Another black bag? Yes, yes, I'm starting to have too many black bags, but like I said, they're all different. The ostrich, porosis crocodile, and this newest addition in the box calf leather. I think this will be my last Hermes black bag, but who knows? So I saw this vintage box Kelly in the size 35 maybe in Paris, and I fell in love. The way that the leather has aged and patina was so beautiful. It's definitely a timeless classic. So let's open the bag. It is super, super stiff. It's definitely stiffer than the Epsom leather. Wow. And let me go ahead and remove this sticker. Wow, the opening and closing is really difficult with the box cap leather. Hopefully with some use, it could soften up a little bit. So box cap is a heritage leather from Hermes. And because it is a heritage leather, there is a premium in the price. It is Hermes oldest leather used in handbag. The name box comes from the English shoe craftsman, Joseph Box. It is a fine grained leather that develops a beautiful patina over time. The leather is stiff uh, and holds up its shape very well. It is prone to scuffs and scratches, but can be buffed away. If wet, it can also develop blisters. This bag has a U-stamp and U-stamps are dated for 2022. I got this Kelly 25 box in September of 2023. And we are in the end of third and beginning of the fourth quarter of the calendar. And yes, still used stamp bags are being sold. If I were to purchase this bag in 2022, since it is a used stamp, then I could have saved 1900 plus tax. It is a hefty increase. I don't know if the boutique just has a mass stockpiled inside or if there is a delay in receiving these bags. Whatever it is, I don't mind the date stamp. This time, my fiance insists that I add something, a Twilly or a Rodeo. Since this Kelly 25 box calf leather looks really serious and intense with this black color. Again, I did not purchase any twillies or back charms. I do see his point. Maybe later, but for now, I would like to enjoy it as it is. I can't wait to see how this bag will patina over 10, 20, 30 years from now. 
I'm super happy with my Hermes collection so far and pretty content. I think I'll be okay if I have never offered another Hermes bag. But you know, it's deep down inside, you always want more. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and hit the bell notification so that you don't miss any of my future videos. I hope to see you back here and thanks for watching. Bye! So I noticed something different with the box. So this one is my Kelly 25 box cap leather. Um, the box that it came in, it is slightly bigger and just a tiny bit smaller in the depth. And this one here is all my Kelly 25 and Birkin 25 box that it came in with. So yes, the new box is slightly bigger.